It's here, Wednesday morning, second half of the sale. It's about 7 a.m. I'm about to do my morning video. Um, we're all set up, ready to go. If you don't know what this is, you should probably watch the last two videos. That might explain it a little bit. All right, let's get ready. We are just slammed this morning, it's amazing. You can barely walk up there. This is how the warehouse sales should be. I've been running back and forth like a crazy person, getting product to restock tables. That's how it's supposed to be. There's a bunch of magic cards in the dumpster. That's odd. So I dropped the price of the kids' bikes to $39.99. Not making much, my cost is $33 on each one. So, but I did sell Two maybe for 60 one in the last sale one in this sale but now they're moving at 40 so at least they'll be out of here they're in brown boxes but there's a retail box inside it looks like we got five and then one left out on the floor that's the inside full color retail box all right going to get some lunch now I'm starving So Wednesdays are weird. For the longest time, it was one of our worst days. Wednesdays and Sundays were the worst days. Uh, and then, I wanna say the Christmas sale and the fall sale, Wednesdays were just amazing. Completely, not, not even good for a Wednesday, but really good. And I couldn't figure out why Wednesday suddenly became better. And then the last sale or two, it went back to being terrible. Worst day of the sale. And I figured, okay, it was just a fluke. But now Wednesday's really good probably gonna end up being the best day of the sale so far um what what is the deal with wednesdays what's the deal with wednesdays that's my jerry seinfeld impression it's not good so for lunch i'm going to this place oh that was a big pothole i am gonna get a burger would you believe it a year ago i'd never been to five guys before now I've probably spent $12,000 there since then. That was only three lunches though, they're expensive. Look at this pothole though, that's the one that I went into. It's like a crater, I'm pretty sure that's where the, oh you can't see it now. It's like six inches down, there are two layers of asphalt you can see. I'm pretty sure that the asteroid that came in and killed all the dinosaurs actually landed right there. So I'm going through this pallet of cereal and there's this box marked Adidas. I already looked at what it was. Uh-oh. These boxes are falling now. So this was a pallet of cereal. I wanna say I spent like 150 bucks on it. Look at this. Um, at the very least, this is 10 bucks each. It looks kinda of like old stock though. So let me look it up on eBay. If it is old stock, they still make this brand, or this Adidas moves. But we've got 10 of them here. That's a hundred bucks right there on $10 a day, the next sale. That almost, this box almost pays for the pallet, and I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting all cereal. So I'm going through a pallet here that I bought last fall. I paid 225. Um, there was this, not dented, and part of their shelving unit apparently. Not dented, uh, I just took it out of the box and put it out, 30 bucks we'll sell it for. Set of chairs here. So this came with a table and it's 150 retail. I'm just pricing the chairs at 100 because I feel like four patio chairs for 100 is a great deal. 200 for this grill. Um, it look, I think it's new, the box just got damaged. And then over here is the patio table, which is a really cool table, but it's got a crack running along here i feel like an outdoor table will still sell i priced it at 70. we'll see if that goes it's really neat and i did put crack down there just so in case they miss it or something and i did assemble it so they don't have to do that all right it is what day is today thursday two dollar day i just brought the carts out i'm about to do the video i'm tired um i don't think i really did much else I showed you the table and stuff. Yeah, that's about it. You're caught up. 
So I think my uh, video isn't going to be posted because it's not letting me do anything. And it was a live stream. So people saw it live, but nothing is happening here. So I think it's not going to actually post the replay, which kind of sucks. I hate when Facebook does, or when, when websites have issues, it's really annoying because it's not like I can go and re-record it or anything. So someone just bought 12 of these rugs. We still have some. The last of them are up front. I think we've got like five or six rugs left. I keep trying to start finish this thought, but people keep interrupting me on the radio. So the guy who bought them all, he works for an organization. I'm not gonna say what organization, um, and they're gonna use them there. And he said, I don't know if you remember me, but you came to my garage sale a few years ago and bought my entire video game collection. And I'm so angry that I sold it all. And I remember the guy, he let me into his house and I was um, walking around in his house, digging through closets and stuff. He was outside running his garage. So he said, yeah, any video games you find, just, just let me know. And I ended up buying his whole collection and I would have got more, but another big video game buyer in the area had bought everything he had on the tables and was just leaving when I got there going, heh, I got it all. He never asked to see what was inside. But anyways, so it was nice to have those gone. All right, we got these out. I had a customer say these are like 15 bucks each in the store. This pallet is probably about five feet tall and we've already taken a whole bunch out to put on the floor. I wanna say I spent 25 bucks on this pallet. The packages are kind of messed up, but they're fine. They're still moist inside. Moist, moist, moist. I know people love that word, except these ones. These ones are not moist. We sold a broken TV. It worked, but it had like a dead spot on the screen. 60 bucks. So those walkers we have, they're the ones that you can kind of sit on and someone's letting their kid, not a little, little kid. Kid's gotta be 12, knows right from wrong. Uh, just play around on it and walk around, like sit and push himself around. And I don't know if they're buying it like, what do I do here? Because I don't want to be... Because I don't want to yell them, yell at them if they're pushing it around because they're going to buy it. But I have a strong feeling they're not. Also, I found Nerd's Rope. This one's for me. So I walked back up there and saw they were gone. Um, and I went back and looked where the walker was. Oh, they must have bought it. The walker isn't here. Nope, not only did they let their kid play around with it. The kid left it in the middle of the aisle, like sideways, blocking the aisle. Had I seen this, I would have told them, leave, don't come back. That, it's a kid. The kid should know better, but I don't blame the kid. It's the parents who let their kid do that. And I can't, I'm trying to keep the, the language PG on here. People like that drive me nuts. Like the type of person who leaves their ice cream sit on a pallet of TVs at Walmart because they changed their mind. Those are the type of people that frankly, and I can get, I don't know, you can't really dislike videos on YouTube anymore. You can shame me, hate me, however you want. I have no uh, empathy when those people have bad things happen to them. I feel like they deserve to have bad things happen to them. If you are so self-centered that you can't put your stuff back, that you expect somebody else to do this for you, that you expect a random stranger to clean up after you like mommy and daddy. Yeah, I kind of enjoy when bad things happen to those people. Like just, just walking outside and trip and fall, maybe skin your arm. I would enjoy that very much. Not the kid. The kid should know better. He's old enough. But it's the parents that I'm mostly upset about here. Just want to clarify that. I don't know how much of this rant I'm going to keep in this video. We'll see how I feel when I'm editing. People like that drive me insane. I just understood Spanish, I think. So you know the thing where a telemarketer calls me and I pretend I don't speak English and I start saying I'm broken. Do, do you speak Spanish? Uh, hablo Espanol. And they, that's about all that I know. And usually, the, oh, sorry, and they hang up on me. The guy started speaking Spanish to me but I'm pretty sure he was asking if I speak English and I said, no hablo inglés. And then he said something else in Spanish and then hung up on me. So I think I understood Spanish. So not a great day, like 5,500. Um, these I just found, I forgot. I've got a whole bunch of boxes of these on a different pallet. Those should have gone out the other day. Um, put the last of the coffee out. 
I sold like a whole pound of this at two bucks a unit. So I'm basically, in my opinion, at break even. I paid, I don't know, maybe 50 cents a unit for them, but I sold them at two bucks a unit and he would have taken more if I had given him these. So it's kind of a wash, but these will probably draw some people in. Uh, what else? These we forgot to keep stocking. I decided I'm not going to stock the rest of them, but these were loose on the floor, so I just decided to bring those out. Uh, it's pretty much anything of note. Tables are all refilled. I put some more stuff out here. I put these. I paid 25 bucks for like 12 boxes of these. There are 100 of these each. So we're doing 25 bucks a box. See if that goes. We're in the last four of these. Bikes and um, tents are all sold out. The TV sold. Still can't sell these. I don't understand what the deal is with these. I don't really want to go less than 100 bucks. So it's already a smoking deal on those. I might have to drop the price on those. No hits on them. Um, what else? I put some random odds and ends out here. Uh, neither of these two things that I put out last night sold, but the garbage can was like one of the first things that sold. Last one of those. We put this bike out. I forgot. It's the one I assembled. Um, we sold all the box ones. I did drop the price on this to five bucks. I want to say I paid about five bucks a piece for them, so I don't know why they're not moving, but we got to get rid of them. What else are we going to do with them? Somehow only sold one of these today. It was up front there. So we moved it back here. Maybe it was the location. I think we sold three of these, which I'd like to have sold more, but I paid 25 bucks for one of these pallets and 50 for the other one. So I've got 75 bucks in them all. That's... Uh, Maybe I sold four, because I think it was about 80. Um, so I'm basically at break even on these, and we've got a lot left. I'm sure we'll sell a few more, and then the rest will just end up on a pallet, or on, in the auction. This, well, actually all the beverages just kind of died after the first day. The first day, they did really well. After that, it's a couple per day. But I paid 25 for that. I'm over 300 in sales. I paid 25 for this. I'm over 300 in sales. The monster I paid like I think 350, and I'm almost to 900 in sales. Um, these will probably just end up being auction pallets after the sale. My thought process: I don't want to repeat stuff. So this I'm probably gonna have to repeat in the next sale. I might drop the price uh, just because we get so much of it. I thought that would have done better. I thought this whole sale would have done better. I feel like the quality of the inventory is much higher than we've had in sales past. And so I guess it's not the product. I don't know what it is. Hopefully things pick up uh, in this sale, but hopefully the next sale is better. We did sell about a case of these today. At the end of the day, I think it's gonna be about two pallets we'll have sold through. So I still have, I think six left that I'll need to liquidate. Uh, that we could probably pull. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do the touch-ups. I put this out. Uh, someone said these are 15 bucks or 14 bucks in the store. So two bucks should be a smoking deal. All the ones we had on the tables, they were selling pretty good. I mean, this whole chunk here was about level with that when I bought it in, brought it in. So we sold a good deal of them. This is very thick cardboard to cut with a box cutter. So that's where we are. I'm coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be a second $2 day. We doubled the $2 day instead of the dollar day this time because inflation. Oh, I also found $10 on the floor. So that was kind of nice. So my other half decided that she's gonna leave me this weekend and go to Orlando for Universal Studios. And she just, she's getting on her flight now. She just told me I'm a bad influence because she just got through security and the flight boards in five minutes. And I'm actually really proud of her for that because normally she's the type that likes to get to the airport like three days before the flight. I don't, I don't know why she wants to get there so early. Like she wants to get there th several hours before the flight. Like she's gonna go and change the oil on the plane before she gets on or something. Uh, but I'm very proud of her for showing up five minutes before her flight starts boarding. So I'm at the Home Depot, unrelated to the business, but I wanna point something out. So you see the sunglasses rack over here. I watched the customer pushing a cart. Side swiped the thing, knocked a whole bunch of them on the floor, and, an and just kept walking. She looked back, saw them on the floor, and kept walking. And the employee, who was maybe six feet away, watched the whole thing. 
and just had the most. I'm editing here. I have no idea what happened to that clip. Uh, but basically the employee just had the most depressing, sad sigh as she walked over to pick up after the garbage person who just didn't care. That's all. I'm so tired and so sore. Last night, 7.45, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna take my chimney out. So I took my chimney out. 16 blocks, probably, I don't know, 80 pounds each. I'm really sore, I'm really tired. I don't know why I did that last night. Um, but I did finally hear something kind of from that store around the corner, the one that I put the signs by. She didn't reach out to me for some reason. She sent a message to someone who owns another liquidation store a couple towns over and said, the signs are cute. And he messaged me last night and said, I get a weird cryptic message from her about signs. Um, I don't know why she didn't reach out to me. She has my number. She has me on Facebook. But I have to get set up or get signs out and stuff, carts and stuff. I am so sore from using that rotary hammer to rip those blocks out. So I just did the live video and there were only seven viewers and I couldn't figure out why. I did it on the Resale Rabbit Facebook page. So now I get to do it again. Oh, my throat really hurts. I breathed in a lot of dust. I should have been wearing a mask when I was taking out that chimney last night. And then I just spent the last, what, 40 minutes? 32 minutes doing two walkthrough videos because I did the one on the wrong page. I think I found my favorite gummies. These are so much better than the peach buttholes. Peach buttholes are always my favorite one. These watermelon wedges. I already have a stomach ache and I still can't stop eating them. So we sold a case of fish bowls. By the way, do you like my shirt? It's a Hawaiian shirt with Hawaiian shirts on it. It's my Hawaiian shirt, Hawaiian shirt. So that case of fish bowls, remember I spent 25 bucks on the whole pallet. We just sold a case of them for 25. So that pays for the pallet. Does not cover BP and freight. But this is one of those where I don't really count freight because I bought it because why not? It's basically free and I'm already, I already have the truck there. Time to bring another one out. So someone brought back one of the cases of Sobe and said it just tasted like it went bad. It tasted awful. And it's 10 bucks. It's the customer's first time here. So we gave him his money back and he ended up buying more stuff anyway. So I tried one from the pack he brought back and it was disgusting. And I can see how it would taste like it has gone bad, but it's cranberry grapefruit flavor. I think that's just how it's supposed to taste. I hate grapefruit. Justin tried it and he said the same thing. He said, I think that's just how it's supposed to taste. So grapefruit is like blue cheese. It's just for people who enjoy the taste of moldy, rotten, disgusting food that's been left out too long. And that's what that is. I'm glad I didn't, like I was gonna keep a bunch of those Sobeys just to drink until I saw how much sugar was in them. I did not see the flavor. Justin just sent this picture in the group chat. Look at the temperature. Look what this person is wearing. I guess it's a good weight loss plan. Just wear a big heavy winter coat in 82 degrees and you'll lose 40 pounds by the end of the day, probably. So the lady who bought those fish bowls, the case of 100 fish bowls for 25 bucks, she just came back and asked to buy two more. So she spent 75 bucks on them and we still have nine boxes left. Hopefully more people come in and buy them. If you recall from the auction video where I bought it, no one had actually been on it. They listed as not sold and moved on. And right as they were moving on, I said, you know what, I'll take it. So I got it for the opening bid, 25 bucks. Thinking maybe I'll just clip the pallet for like a hundred bucks or something. It wasn't until a couple days ago where I thought, you know, why don't I try selling them as a special buy item? So far I'm happy. So I'm officially giving up on these. Even at five bucks, they're not moving. So I'm just gonna try and wholesale the pallet. I mean, I could leave them out for dollar day and sell six of them for five bucks each and get 30 bucks. Or I could put other special buy stuff there and get maybe a couple hundred bucks. You know what else 
is really crappy about the last couple of sales. I didn't find any silver. Up until like maybe Christmas, every single sale, I found some sort of silver coins or silver certificate. There was that one I got it in my change, the silver certificate at McDonald's, but it was during the sale, so I'm counting it. But the last couple, I don't think I found any. So now that she knows the signs, let's go see if they're still there. I'm very curious. It's kind of on my way home. Opposite direction, but like two blocks in the opposite direction. That one is still there, but this isn't the one in front of her business. I don't, oh, I think I see it. Still there. <laughs> so that one's still there. So I would assume the other one probably is as well. Supposedly they're open today. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, they got their big sign outside. Ah, that place is just a mess. Although, my warehouse is not nearly as messy on the outside. It's nice and clean and pretty looking. But on the inside, it's, it's kind of a mess. Now this one's tilted down, but I feel like that's probably just the wind. Let me fix this. Like I said, their road just loops around. So I feel like if they were gonna mess with one, they would have messed with both of them. Much better. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask, what would I do if I were in their situation? If they put signs up, and frankly, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the next warehouse sale, I see their signs up. Uh, so what would I do? Well, if they put one on my property, I'm gonna tear it out, I'm gonna throw it away. Or maybe I'll hold it and let them come pick it up if I'm feeling nice. If they put one near my property like that, I don't know. I don't think I'd really do anything. I think I'd just put my sign right next to it and I'd try to make sure my sign's bigger. Maybe I should make bigger signs for the, I do want to make custom signs for the next one that actually have, they don't necessarily need to have our logo, but at least have like the hours or something and then printed arrows rather than written on with a Sharpie but I don't think I would do much. I wouldn't go around and tear their signs out. I think that's a bad business move. Um, but if they put it on my property, yeah, I'm taking the sign out. If it's like on the corner, if it's right across, not on my property, but right across the street, boy, I don't know what I would do. Because I don't think I have a right to remove the sign if it's not on my property. But technically, across the street is state-owned land. It's it's the highway, you know, just a little bit of grass below the retention wall, retaining wall. I don't know what I would do. But I would probably call her rather than talk to the guy who owns the other store that is kind of the middleman, apparently. Reasonably busy this morning. A lot slower than a typical Saturday dollar day. But it's reasonably busy. And Tim brought donuts, so I'm on my second donut already. So this case is the fish bowls. Um, someone grabbed the display that we had sitting on top, and I have a feeling they didn't buy it. My thought is they brought it over to someone, hey, look at this, are you interested in this? No? Okay, I'll just throw it into a box instead of putting it back where it belongs. And now, that means that box now has 99 fish bowls instead of 100. <sighs> I hate people so much. I feel like I'm in the wrong business because I really can't stand people like that. This works. One, this worked once before, so let's try it again. We need another plague. The last one didn't take care of enough. Look at this on this pallet of cleaning products. I don't know what this is. It's some truck part. Uh, let's see, direct drive motor. The best truck tarp motor for, oh. So I guess it's the motor that pulls the tarp over like the back of a dump truck. I bet this has some value. So I had two donuts for breakfast. I've been Slim Jim and cheese for lunch. So I just saw the drive walker at some point today sold. We've got one left and it's gonna be fun getting this down. It's up there. Well, it's gonna be that time where we're done restocking. I know it still looks like a lot of stuff in here, but other than this pallet, all that is fall. That's fall. 
that's fall that's fall um this we're just gonna auction off this is what's left of the weights i'm not running these to another sale we're gonna auction them off uh, we get candy which will do well you know considering halloween fall sale this was all supposed not all but a lot of this was supposed to be ten dollar stuff um and it never made it out we just forgot about it so that'll probably go in the next sale but look at all these pallets this is two stacks every single one of these pallets represents a bunch of inventory that we sold we've also got a stack of four more over there that one's empty it's just cardboard on it um lots of them that were full but now are less full like this one or that one you got another stack in here it's so everything is really spread out and some of it's like this is just cardboard that's trash so it looks a little bit more full but the plan after this once the sale's over i'm gonna spend the next two weeks really working hard clean organizing the back rooms and then i'm flying to georgia for an auction and that's the crazy one that I talked about other than this video or the last one where I'm actually flying to Dallas and driving. Anyways, we'll bring in probably two truckloads of product and then everything that we have here other than holds, felt like it was something on my foot. Everything we have here other than holds plus a bunch of the stuff that I get at the auction in Georgia, we're gonna open for a one day pallet sale. I'm thinking I will empty out this suite up here so this, other than what's on the racks, I'll have completely emptied out and everything in here will be pallets that are for sale. Each one is gonna have a price on it. We'll do some cases, but mostly pallets. And then once that's over, we're gonna do a pallet auction. Everything that's left, starting at a dollar, whatever it sells for. I'm thinking that's the plan. Um, or two bucks, we start auctions at two bucks. So that's going to clear a lot of merchandise out of here and hopefully make up for the terrible amount of sales that we did. I'm about $20,000, $25,000 less in this sale than what I would call a typical sale, which that hurts the bottom line a lot. So Tim just sent this picture. Someone bought that AC unit and just left all the box and everything out in the parking lot. I'm going to see if they paid with a credit card so I can get their name. So the person did pay with a card and I know for a fact, absolute fact, it was that person because we've only had one of those. It's not like we had a bunch and that was the one that sold most recently. We only had one. So I made a Facebook post on the business page. I don't know if I'm legally allowed to say names or not. So I just said Paul G. And I said, a picture of that. And I said, we're not your mother. We're not cleaning up after you. Um, unless you come back and apologize to the staff who had to clean up to you, you are now permanently banned. And I wrote Paul G, if you're reading this. So we'll see. Part of me wants to find him on the security footage because I've got the time of the transaction. So I've got a picture of the guy. And no. Post a picture of him too with his full name and say that he's a litter bug. Boy, it's tempting, but I'm not gonna do that. 10 minutes before we open for bag day, I had to, I just put signs up. I put a layer of tape over this because I just know people are gonna load this up in their bag if I don't. Um, I'm hoping they don't do it with that. I'm so tired, I cannot wait to be done. I'm hoping we'll be closed by like 11 o'clock. There's a guy in there who looks bored. I'm guessing he's with either his mom or his wife or something. He's playing his Nintendo Switch while standing in front of a full cart. If any executives from McDonald's is watching this video, I have two questions for you. Number one, why? And number two, why aren't you doing this? Yeah, this is from a gas station. It's a sausage, egg, and cheese, but instead of a biscuit or a croissant, it's a waffle. It's a maple-infused waffle. I know you've got the McGriddle or whatever has the maple, but this one's a waffle. Get on this, McDonald's. So I got a passenger here. Got a surprise for what is going to happen with him. 
but you'll have to check out the other channel for that. Um, the video will probably be coming out around the time this one is. He's going to be uh, in my house for the next probably 50, 60 years, I'd, I'd assume. So we're just about done. Last February, remember when I was selling all those coin up dryers? I had someone reach out, they were interested in buying. We went back and forth, a couple messages, and it never panned out. They never bought anything. He just sent me a message today asking to borrow $200 from me. What? It's the most, why go to someone that you messaged once on Facebook several months ago? It's bizarre to me. All right, I am gonna go get the red signs. We just closed up, it's 145-ish. Um, I haven't even looked at what today's sales are, but it seemed decent, at least for, as far as bag day is concerned. It's not really gonna help with the sale, but we got rid of a lot of stuff. So this is how we finished. We actually did pretty well, 2,400 today. Um, these and these and these are gonna go to auction. Look how terrible people are. I put a bunch of tapes so people couldn't take these and they just took them and filled their bag with them. I hate people so much. That's what's left of this pallet of wipes. We only sold, not, including this, two pallets of wipes. That's kind of sad. Did not sell the bike. So the this is all going to go to auction. That's what's left of the rugs. That'll go to auction. All of this stuff. The humidifiers, surprisingly, didn't do so well. I think I sold two of them. So it's 200 bucks. Maybe I sold three of them. 100 bucks each. Um, I paid 200 for all of them, but I'm sure the rest in auction will do all right. The AC units all sold, except for this big one, the brand new one, still here. Um, we sold, these did really well. I spent 25 bucks on this pallet. I believe I sold six of them at full price, which is 150 bucks, and then one at 15 at the end when we started taking offers. Um, did not sell a single microwave. I don't understand why. Those did not sell the ceiling fans. And then this didn't sell either. I think I'm gonna bring this home. I need a microwave temporarily while I rip up, rip apart my kitchen. And then this is all the stuff for merchandise. This really surprises me, the amount of apparel that was left. Usually there is no apparel left at the end of the sale. I was very surprised, shocked that all this was left. Um, this is mostly just trash, it looks like. Flip flops and whatnot, that's just empty boxes. More stuff here. So not a lot left. Um, so we're just gonna probably stack all these boxes up. One lot in the auction, it'll probably sell for, I don't know, 20 bucks, something like that, and it gets it out of here. Uh, the clothes, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the clothes. It looks like it's mostly these jerseys. We got this style and with the white. These covers, these are like swimsuit covers and these cheetah shirts and then a few other odds and ends. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just box it all up or maybe hang it all on one rack and do like a lot in the auction and then just the rack isn't included. I might go that route. Um, and then we've got some boxes of clothing over here as well. Looks like not a whole lot left. So yeah, we cleared out pretty good. I am gonna head out now and uh, I'll come back tomorrow to finish cleaning up. So we'll sit down again, it's gonna be tomorrow. But I'm going to sit down and give you a recap on what every how much we sold everything for. And then we can put this sale to bed. It was not a good one. So in typical resale rabbit fashion, it's been nearly a month. Let's go over the numbers. We did a total of $55,386 in sales. Yikes. But not as bad as I was expecting, I guess. So there's that. Let's go through what all sold. So we had 39,726 in regular sales, 15,681 in special buy, 74 in uncategorized, that could be either. Um, sometimes I forget to add a category to an item or if they have to manually enter the price. That does not add up to the 55,000 whatever I said a minute ago. My phone is blowing up right now. Um, because these numbers don't factor returns. We did have like 300 bucks in returns, so there will be a slight variance, as well as the next numbers that I tell you won't factor returns. All right, you're just gonna look at me the whole time. I don't feel like doing the thing where I film the screen. 
Uh, but we had 39 bucks in custom orders, shop vac, missing parts, $34.99. On bag day, we sold 260 bags of items for $1,300. We sold five carts of items for $50. Bucks. Uh, general merchandise is kind of the main category that everything goes under. Uh, 35,735, we sold 13,687 items. NFL apparel, we only sold 105 items for $857. Um, that was mostly the Packers hats. We did pull those halfway through, if you remember. Uh, an EVAP cooler, 49. Regular apparel, which is the non-NFL stuff, 499. Sidewalk chalk, we sold that whole pallet, 76 units for $344 on $5 day. It's likely that a lot of those just went as general merchandise, so that's not going to be truly accurate. Same with a lot of things like the apparel and stuff. Uh, Slim Jims, we sold 134 of them for $134. I don't remember what I paid for it. You'll have to refer back to that other video. Socks and underwear, we sold 192 units for $758. Bucks. We sold a trash can for $29.99. A hose reel for $20. A hose reel that was missing a wheel for $15. So the Uncle Bud's face masks, remember I bought two pallets, one for 25 bucks, one for 50. So I've got 75 bucks total. They're about 26,000 units. We had one box out where we were selling them two for a buck. We sold 63 of them for $63. And that box was still pretty full. I wanna say there are two or 300 units in that box. Um, that did really well, but unfortunately we can't have that in every sale. So we're liquidating the rest. We did sell some cases as, as well, which I'll get to momentarily. Uh, we sold that 50-inch smart TV, the one that had the damaged screen for $59.99, an aquarium kit for $40, uh, let's see, a pool for $70. The bangs, I spent $25 on this pallet. We sold 49 units for $489.51. There is still a lot left, so we're just going to liquidate the pallet, uh, sell it as a pallet in the auction, probably get like one or 200 bucks for it kitchen organizer racks we sold four for 159 case of 100 fish bowls remember i spent 25 bucks for that pallet we sold six of them for 149.94 i still have i think six left actually i think there were 12 total uh case of six ranch sauces that's the well, i thought i still had a bottle over here i could show you uh, the like ranch secret sauce. We sold 14 of them for $69.86. The case of those face masks that I was just telling you about, we sold six cases for $119.94. So that's 186 bucks roughly. I think it was 188 bucks, something like that. Um, I spent 75 bucks on all of it and we're probably going to get, at, I'd say at least a hundred bucks for the rest if we liquidate. Very well could be more. It's going to be an auction. We could get a thousand for the rest. I don't know. A uh, case of Kodiak cookies, 13 of them for $129.87. I think I spent $75 on that. And then there were probably another 20 cases that we sold the individual boxes just on whatever price day. Case of wipes. This one was a little disappointing. 62 of them for $929. Now, I spent $1,000 for that whole truckload. I sold enough to make that $1,000 back. The wipes were basically just the profit. We still have so much left, so I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We'll have to, that ended up being two pallets. We had, I think, 12 pallets. We're not going to sell them in the next six sales. The Coleman six-person tent, we sold 19 of them for 779 The Coleman sleeping pad, we're finally out of those. We sold 28 of them for 559 uh, Another EVAP cooler, $39.99. A Craftsman lawn tool. I think that's just a generic tag that I put on all the Craftsman lawn tools. Three for $89.97. Crosscut Shredder. We sold nine of those for $269.91. I was actually going to put those out for $10 a day. I'm glad I didn't. Cube Storage Shelf. We sold one for $19.99. That's just something we found in the back. The Drive Nitro Walkers. We sold all of them. Six for $299.94. Now I just have the Hurry Roll Walkers left. Dry Food Dispenser. They were the day's price, but Ben accidentally rang one up as the special buy price from last time. So we got $19.99 for one of them. Uh, we got 40 bucks for an ice maker. We sold that pallet of 15 patio tables for $375. Uh, two file cabinets for $59.98, those metal file cabinets. 12 of the garden hose hangers for $119.88. I think the rest, I've probably got another 20, 25 left. 
I'm just going to save for next summer. It's not a big deal to recycle it between sales for me if you've got like a year in between. Heavy duty floor mat. That is the, I don't know, the irregular floor mats. I believe I bought three pallets for around 75 bucks each. Sold 101 units for $544.92. And that ended up being two pallets. There's still some extra that we're just going to liquidate. And then there's another pallet. That I still have, but they're different. They're uh, they have like actual printed patterns on them. Huffy Girls Bike. We sold nine of them for three hundred and seven three hundred and seventy nine ninety one. We sold a humidifier for twenty. Uh, so those indoor outdoor rugs. We sold all of them. There were fifty nine left. Two thousand three hundred and fifty nine dollars. I want to say. I think I bought a truckload of them for four thousand, maybe six thousand. And then sold a third of them to one person, a third of them to another person at cost. We kind of split it up, but I, you know, bought them and orchestrated it all. And, you know, they paid me for them. I just didn't make money on what they purchased. Um, so my cost probably would have been like 1700 something like that. We sold about half of them in this sale and half of them in the last sale, or not the last sale, a sale last summer. I don't know which one had more. They weren't an exact identical half. Uh, but we got twenty three fifty nine this time, assuming last time was the same. That's, uh, I don't like public math. I'm not doing this without a calculator. Two, three, five, nine times two, 47, 18. Uh, Husky texture sprayer. We sold one for 40. We sold a juicer for 30. Okay. The shop lights, five bucks each. That's 10. This is five. My hand looks really white. I th oh, that's the computer screen doing that. Um, we sold 599 units for 2,995. So pretty happy with that. I wish we could have sold a lot more. We still have a lot more, but that got rid of a pretty good deal, a pretty good chunk of them. Uh, we sold an air conditioner for 50 that was like falling apart and in really rough shape. It was like a five or $600 AC unit though. Uh, lighters, we sold 19... Well, that would be about 38 lighters because they were two for a buck. 19 transactions for $19. The Lost Lake River Rafting Tube, I sold for $39.99. I paid, I think, $7.99 for that at Goodwill. It was brand new. Uh, memory Foam Dog Bed, we sold two for 50 Miscellaneous Floor Care Item, we sold seven of them at the $30 price point for $209.93. We sold three at the $50 price point for $149.97. Miscellaneous furniture item, whatever that is, two of them for 60 bucks. So the monster, I think I paid like 350, 375, something like that for it. We sold all of it, 104 units for $1,038.96. I did have it listed on eBay and I bought special boxes and foam corners so we could ship it out nice and easy. Did not sell a single one, but they all sold in the sale. We sold three Halloween mystery boxes. They were just left over from a previous sale. Uh, 11997 the paradise island pool floats we sold three of them for 254 dollars those came on the top of the palette of the light up pool floats um which did not do well uh dehumidifier we sold two of them for 200 bucks the pool candy floats speak of the devil we only sold 19 of them for 144.90 i think that probably puts me somewhere in the range of break even on that palette between that and the paradise island ones so we're just, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save like 10, maybe 20 of them on a pal on another pallet just for next summer. They'll be whatever the day's price is. The rest of that pallet, we're going to liquidate. Uh, damage range hood for 25, uh, right? Rigid shop vac. We sold three of them for 104.97, a rolling stool for 30, a uh, Rubbermaid bench with storage. We sold the last six of them for 599.94. Rattleby Blower for 25, Cordless Edger for 59, and Electric Tiller for 99. A Ryobi Sander, this is just a little hand sander, $34.99. Uh, Ryobi String Trimmer, $39.99. Ryobi String Trimmer Tool Only, $24.99. Set of four patio chairs, we sold for $99.99. Um, small Appliances, it's just a generic tag that we put on small appliances. Uh, $119.96, sold four of them. Small patio table we sold for $39.99. The Sobe, another pallet that I paid only $25 bucks for, and there's a lot left. We sold 37 units for $369.63. We're going to liquidate the rest of the pallet. 
untested gas yard tool we sold for $29.99. And lastly, a window AC unit for three of them for $249.97. And that is the sales. I'm out of breath. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the, the videography, the filming wasn't great on this one because, well, I was stressed and it was the last thing on my mind. And I probably would have preferred just not filming it because I had other stuff that on my mind from the sale not doing well. But I did it anyways. Um, got a rebate receipt right here. Oh, June 19th. I could have had 20 bucks if I mailed this in within June 19th. Anyways, um, so... I will try to do better in the next one. Hopefully the sales are better. I've got some ideas like selling Diet Pepsi for a dollar for 24 bottles. So I think we're going to have, hopefully, with some deals like that, going to draw on a lot of people. So I hope you enjoyed this video series, and I will see you in the next one.